Okay, Anthony, we got to uh, uh, do a video about the plastic parts. We're going to do other parts of the video with the G-scale trains, the N-scale trains, the buildings, and all the other stuff we picked up today. So right now we'll just start with the plastic kits. Okay, tell me when you're ready to go. I'm ready. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, hi. Thanks. Welcome to today's video. Uh, we just became in possession of another giant uh, collection of hobby stuff. This one's going to be a little different, though. This one involves plastic kits, it involves N-scale trains, HO trains, G-scale trains. Some of this stuff is really high-end, some of this stuff is really cool. I've only peeked at some of it. I've seen Craftsman train kits. I have seen um, brass, brass engines in N-scale, brass rolling stock in N-scale. I've seen sound equipment. I've seen all kinds of stuff. It's going to take us ages to get through it. So what we would like to do, as we have done with our scale model collections lately, we would like to break it into digestible bits and give you videos to share what we've got in so you can see what's going on and you can send us inquiries for stuff you might be interested in or we can tell you where to find it. So today we got the plastic components done. There was aircraft and ships. Some of it was fairly common but some of it's pretty interesting. We'll start on this end. We had a Tamiya, New Jersey. We had two TSR2s from Airfix in 72nd scale. Two Hasegawa 450th scale uh, HMS Vanguards, a Trumpeter 72nd scale Badger, a Rebel 32nd scale Tornado. We got two uh, 1350th scale Tamiya USS Enterprises. One was in a little more Scooby box than the other, so it's a little cheaper. Uh, Rebel 32nd scale Mosquito, Rebel 32nd scale Bullfighter, Trumpeter 48th scale Vigilante. Hasegawa, this has got to be one of the the early issues of this kit, judging by the box art, Minecraft Hasegawa is a giveaway. F-104C Starfighter, 32nd scale. Uh, Tupolov Bear, Trumpeter, 72nd scale. The AMT XB-70 Valkyrie. An old Lindbergh Robert E. Lee steamer. There's a monogram, Black Widow P-61, 48th scale. And a somewhat rare these days, Revel, 48th scale B-58 Hustler, formerly monogram. We have a Tamiya 32nd scale Phantom. We have an Airflex 48 scale TSR2. And if that was enough, we have a Dynavector Vacuform kit of the TSR2 in 48 scale. Maybe you could put them together and make something really cool. I don't know. We have a Tamiya 72nd scale Vosper. Ilari TU-22 Backfire. Trumpeter TU-160 Blackjack. On the bottom, Glencoe Models USS Oregon. Four sets of aircraft for those Enterprise. Uh, they're like an aftermarket set from Tamiya. You got set one and set two for add-on aircraft for your carriers. Somewhat rare, Revel monogram, 148 scale B1B. All sealed bags inside, decals, clears, we checked it out, it's all there. Tamiya 350 scale, King George V. 1350 scale, USS Enterprise. This is the one with the nicer box. And then the jewel in this part of the collection. We have for you the 172nd scale, original Matchbox Flower Class Corvette, 172 scale. Checked it out. All the plastic components seem to be there. The chain's there. The rigging thread's there. The only thing I found missing was the original came with cloth flags. I haven't spotted them yet. I will look harder for them, but I don't think it's really a deal breaker for somebody making this kit. But here's the rub. Along with this kit is the complete Flower Class Corvette deck and fitting set from Great Little Ships. Now I know when the gentleman bought this, he said this all cost him about $1,000. It almost replaces everything but the hole in the kit. You got photo etch for everything. Portals, gun stations, you got individual bags of little detail sets for the guns, for the rails, for the rafts, Product listings. Look at this. We got resin cast boats. And then look at all the detail for that boat. And the davits and the things to hold it to the. Look at it. You replace all those plastic supports and whatnot with etch. And then if you can take a shot in there, look at There's more and more etch everywhere. The decks, the sides of the uh, superstructures. They just basically, except for the hole, everything now becomes resin or photo etch. I say it's a superb set. We're going to have to do a little research on it. I think I found something like this that was about 380 uh, English pounds. The 
It just keeps going. Just keeps going. So this is the crown jewel. This is likely going to be up on our eBay store. I think we're going to have to cast a big net out to sell this one. See, there's even decks in Photo Edge. If you have a serious inquiry or offer, just like everything else, send us an email. Hobson at rogers.com. That's H-O-B-C-E-N at rogers.com. So anything at all you saw or want to inquire about, just shoot us an email. Otherwise, you'll be finding it on the shelf soon, or the really rare stuff will be up on our eBay store, which we have operated for more than 20 years as Mr. Bill 15. You can portal through our website, or you can go looking for that username. Look forward to giving you videos about these trains that. Trains are usually not something we do videos about, but there is so much of it, and it is so cool. We want to share it with everybody and get our name out there. So as always, thank you for watching. Okay, don't forget, please subscribe, slap that bell, hit that like button, and join Team Hobby Center.